Google versus Apple. How are the AI strategies different? Which one is better? In 2017, Google announced that they would pursue now what it is defined as an AI first strategy. So an AI first strategy means that they basically will make money, if you like, by optimizing and uh, maximizing the performances of their predictive algorithms. So that means if you uh, break this down into uh, more atomic uh, elements of the strategy. This means that collecting data and reutilizing data from users is key. It's a key piece of their strategy. This also means that this strategy, to an extent, of course, uh, within the, the contour of the law, um, implies the sacrificing privacy. And additionally, it also means that this strategy implies that uh, the company is ready to deploy imperfect algorithms that can learn over time to reach the ultimate goal of producing the most performing algorithms so that uh, these algorithms can then be monetized. Apple is saying that a strategy like this is a strategy where companies are monetizing users' uh, privacy. And therefore, the user is not anymore a user, is actually the product ultimately. And so Apple is saying, no, we, we're not taking this approach. We're taking a different approach where we put privacy at the center and we're gonna use AI to enhance our devices. But ultimately, we are selling devices. Now, said like this, it seems that everything is hunky dory Apple is, uh, you know, is, is the is the saint and, and the Google is the devil, but it's uh, things are more complex as always. Uh, we need to look at deeper. So if you look at my videos, uh, we did uh, with uh, Jean Philippe uh, Baudet, uh, we did an episode on how crypto and AI are merging together, and, and how you can use crypto to basically transfer the teaching, if you like, of individual users to a broader intelligence without ever making the data of the individual users of uh, collective, uh, if you know, collectively uh, accessible in any way or in any indirect way. Um, it, and uh, I also uh, interviewed Francesco Gadaleda with, with whom we, we discussed the other ways uh, utilizing um, generative models and also unsupervised models uh, that, that allow basically organizations to uh, reach a high level of precision in their algorithms without need, the need to utilize uh, data across multiple users or data across multiple silos when these data are particularly critical sensitive and they cannot really be moved. It's, it's difficult to say which one is better um, from a business perspective, not from a moral or you know, general public perspective. Um, I think it's very interesting to notice that different business strategies lead to different type of technology that are developed. So in the case of Apple and the, and the companies that also work in the enterprise world where privacy is an absolute must, like companies do not want their data in any way to go to their competitors. So going outside for a variety of reasons, there are lots of reasons. It's, it's uh, you know, there are legal constraints, there are PR constraints, there are competitive constraints, there's you know, lots of reasons. And so the companies that operate uh, in these uh, in these constraints, with, under these constraints, are developing new technology, looking at crypto, looking at uh, um, looking at um, unsupervised learning, and so on. And then uh, the companies like uh, Google, if you see a lot of what we see in the news, is always the deep mining of the world. It's like really the next super algorithm that can do, that can maximize really what these algorithms can. Can do so very uh, very interesting the consequences of business models and business strategies into the uh, technology that then is uh, is being uh, developed and this is obviously very important for what I call the AI players uh, the AI uh, playmakers or the AI product managers so those who have to kind of interpret the strategy uh, interpret a, a, a vision and then create products and processes 
very important, very, very uh, important consequences. So I hope this is interesting for you. Of course, if you want to become an AI product manager, if you want to become an AI playmaker, um, take a look at my course. Uh, actually, you should take my course right away. Um, but uh, I hope that you find this interesting and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.